Hi, my name is Kimby and I'm Charlotte and Jonathan's mom. And I'm gonna be reading you three books so you have something to do during the coronavirus. Also, this will give your parents a little break. If your phone or your tablet messes up, let your parents know and they can help you fix it. So again, I'm reading three books. It's gonna be The Color Monster, Little Raindrop, and Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. So Jonathan, which one should I read first? Color Monster. Here we go. The Color Monster by Anna Lennis. And it's a pop-up book. This is my friend, the Color Monster. Today he's feeling all mixed up, but he doesn't understand why. Look at you, Color Monster. You're a mess. You've jumbled up all your emotions and all of your colors too. And it's a squiggly. I know you could separate your feelings and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. So there's different jars, but they're empty. Look at this. Wow. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh, jump, dance, and play. You want to share that feeling with everyone. See, he's happy. Next is blue. Whoa. This is sadness. It's gentle and blue like a rainy day. When you're sad or you might want to cry and be alone. So he's sad right here. Watch out, Jonathan, they can't see. There we go, see sadness, and then it's raining. Yes. <gasps> this is anger. It blazes red. Look how mad he looks. Ah! When you're angry, you want to stomp and roar and shout, it's not fair. But you shouldn't do that, right? But look at him. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this one. Ah, this is fear, so being scared. It hides in the black shadows. When you're afraid, you feel tiny and hopeless. Fear makes it hard to be brave. So he's right there in the middle and he's all scared. Look how big. This is calm. Ah, he's calm, like the trees outside. This is calm. It is light as a green leaf floating in the wind. When you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel peace. All your feelings are in places now, see? They're easier to understand when they're not all mixed up. So Jonathan is pulling things up here to see. So let's see. So sadness, remember, is blue. Anger is red, like Jonathan's shirt. Fear is black, yellow is happiness, and then green is calm. Jonathan, can you step back really quick so they can see? Watch out. Here you go. That's better. And he's putting them all, closing them all. So that's when you separate your feelings so you know which one you're feeling. And you can feel a lot of emotions at one time. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> okay, so he cleaned up all the emotions. Brother, what are you feeling right now? You're feeling happiness? Cute. Okay, but wait, this is the last page. There's one feeling left over. What could it be? Love. Cute, and I love all you guys. Thank you for listening. We have another story. If you want to take a small break to go to the restroom or get something to drink, go ahead. You can pause it and then we could go to the next story. Brother, which one should we read next? And I call Jonathan brother because that's Charlotte's brother. Pete the cat or the little raindrop? Little raindrop, he says. Little raindrop. Bye. Jonathan's gonna go back inside. It's a little hot. Little raindrop. This one doesn't have an author but it's a true story. 
When I was a raindrop, I lived in a cloud. One day, thunder rumbled and boomed out very loud. Come on now, little raindrops, and get ready to let go. You've got an important work down to do in the world below. So here's some raindrops, and then there is a cloud telling them they have work on Earth. A flash of zigzag lightning streaked across the sky. Ooh, cried all the raindrops. See you later, cloud. Goodbye. They jumped into the air, and I jumped with them too. How fun, said Cloud. I wish I could come along with you. So the raindrops are going on a journey. Down and down we fell, giggling and shouting, wee! Oh, what fun to be a raindrop flying free. So it's raining. From high up in the sky, we saw the earth below. Sunbeams shone through us and made us a lovely big rainbow. Charlotte and Jonathan love rainbows. After that, quite suddenly, I landed with a splat and dribbled down the tail of a soggy farmyard cat. Oops, I seeped into the soil, trickling down and down, past pink wiggly worms, far below the ground. Worms. I saw a friendly mole who was digging by some shoots. So it's like roots and plants. Before I knew it, I'd been sucked up into their roots. So the raindrop went inside the plant. Shoop. I traveled slowly up the stem. It was quite a climb. Hello, smiled the flower bud. You're here just in time. Ooh, look at this. This way, the flower told me, and then it opened wide. What a nice surprise to see my raindrop drop friends inside. We had so much fun sharing stories of our day. As the warm sun set slowly, the light faded away. That's Toby. He's always barking my dog, but he's nice. We tried to count the stars instead of counting sheep, but the petals were so comfy that we all fell fast asleep. Then the morning came, the sun shone hot and bright. We all felt quite peculiar Short, sort of shaky and light. So they're evaporating. They're gonna go up in the air. Hold on one second. Okay, he's okay. I thought Toby needs to go inside. Slowly we drifted upward. There was no way to resist. For I and my raindrop friends had turned into a mist. What's happening, I asked. Floating higher in the crowd, the others laughed and said, we're going back into our cloud. Whoa. So they're going up in the air, like I said, evaporation. Welcome back, said the cloud. I hope you all had fun. It's time for you to rest now that there's lots of sun. Oh, he's happy to see his friends again. But soon the wind will blow again and turn the weather their vein because it's windy. We'll have more adventures next time it starts to dun, 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 dun. rain. See? How cute. So the little raindrop went through a whole journey. It went around and around. So it went down from the cloud. It became rain, went into the stems of a flower and then evaporated back up into the clouds. So it's like a cycle, a circle. And that was a little raindrop. This one didn't have an author. Here, let me show you Toby to see who the barker is. Toby, this is Toby. He's small, but he likes to bark. Let me put him away really quick. So this is a little break too, if you need it. And I'm gonna read one last book. Bing, let me put him away. Be right back.
Hi again. And it's so good to see you. I missed you guys a lot. And I hope that you're enjoying these books. This is the last book I'm gonna read. It's called Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. My kids love this book. If you want to hear any other books, I have so many, just tell your parents and then I could just record them and send it to your parents. So here we go. Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. And this is a show too, I noticed. It's on Amazon Prime, if you have that. If not, that's okay. Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. And this is by Eric Lithwin. And the art is by James Dean. I don't have any buttons on right now, but if I did, I would count them just like he's going to do. Okay, let me scoot over a little bit. Sorry about that noise. Okay, here we go. Pete the Cat put on his favorite shirt with four big colorful round groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. Four. Char not Charlotte, Charlotte's six. Jonathan is four years old. Four. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. One, two, three, four. Pop! Oh no! <laughs> One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? So we had four buttons, but one popped off. So four minus one is how many left? Three, three, three. Four minus one equals three. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go, and he kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. I'm not the best singer, but it's fun, right? Pop! Oh no! Another button popped up and rolled away. How many buttons are left? So he had four, then he had three. What's next? Two! Two! Three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. And he kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. <laughs> and look, ice cream truck. I want ice cream soon. Pop, oh no, another button popped off and rolled away. See, now he only has how many left? And look at that ice cream, it looks good. My favorite is, what is my favorite? Cookies and cream. Charlotte loves cotton candy and Jonathan likes chocolate and vanilla. And their dad likes strawberry cheesecake. So one button's left. Two minus one equals one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. And he kept on singing his song. If you want to sing, you can too. My buttons, my, oh, I'm sorry. It's a one button, so there's no S. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Pop! Oh no! So if he only had one left and then it pops, how many's left? So four, three, two, one, zero. The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Zero. One minus one equals zero. Jonathan's saying hi. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he saw? So he has no more buttons. But what do you think? If all four popped off. His belly button. How silly. Bing. Do you have a belly button? I do belly button and he kept singing his song remember the song my button my button still have my belly button my button my button still have my belly button and he's saying it's all good i guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go but do we cry goodness no we keep on singing. So he's okay that he lost his buttons. And sometimes we lose things and that's okay. 
buttons come and buttons go. And look at all the buttons. My favorite color is probably this light blue one. Okay, so I read Pete the Cat, one, The Little Raindrop, two, and The Color Monster, three. Which one was your favorite out of the three? My favorite was probably, I think this one's really cute, The Little Raindrop. I like the smile, and I like rainbows, but it's up to you. And then if you have any questions for your parents, let them know, and you can always call or text me, right? And if you want to hear any more stories, tell me because I have so, so many. You can tell me what your favorite kind of books are and I can see if I have it at home. So I hope you're having fun at home with your parents. And thank you for being kind and patient and helping them. And I hope to see you next time. Oh, and look at my shirt. There's a rabbit, a panda, a fox, a turtle, a dog, an owl, a cat a horse, and a unicorn, and it's saying yay. Maddie, come here. And I have another dog to show you. She's my favorite, but don't tell Toby. Jonathan, you wanna say bye? This is Maddie. I had to cut her hair, but the groomers is closed right now. She's so sweet. And then that is the end of our video. Jonathan, say bye. Bye. Bye, thank you for listening. And I will see you next time. I hope you have a great day. It's not too, too hot, but if you wanna go outside, you can see, and I'll see you next time. Make something sweet for your mom for Mother's Day coming up. Bye.